and welcome along to the next instalment of my Gold Grabbers YouTube channel. So I've just arrived in Tindrum, come up for a probably a four or five day trip. Just have to watch where I'm walking here. At the moment I'm just setting off. I'm just working my way up towards that big mountain there. I'm going to be choosing somewhere along there to actually have a little pan along. a bit rugged terrain to get there that's all. Now I normally do bring a really big heavy backpack with me. Today I've almost halved the weight of it. I'm going to be doing more of a, a crevicing type day rather than just pick a hole and hit it until you get to the bottom of the bedrock day. Oh, I'm out of shape, I haven't been gold prospect in a long time. Just getting up to the bridge. Under here, always close the gate if you do come up this section. And you can see that waterway down there. That's pretty much man-made ripples in there, but obviously we're running lengthways. Any cracks going across there, they might be good places to try and do some crevicing, but I'm not gonna be interested in that today. I'm gonna to be working further upstream. So I'll get through this gate, get the camera back out, and we'll see how far we get. You can see just looking at the river on this big open space bit area here. This is a major big floodplain area. All the water is going to be barreling down all the hillsides when it's in big flood. That's why you see all of these stones laid out as they are. And from the looks of it, someone's had a bloody good go at a, a hole right in the middle. Let's have a look at this. Someone spent a good couple of days there. That's a hell of a hole. Generally you are supposed to fill your holes back in, but I suppose that'll get filled in with the next flood straight away. All the flood waters will just push all these stones in and fill that in. So someone's had a good go, but I'm going to be going further up. So I'll crack on and pick it up when I've found somewhere that looks nice and tasty. So I've got up to the rough stretch that I'm going to be working. You can just see looking upstream, it's such a big boulder zone. It's pretty much take your pick. There's that many big boulders you could work behind. Not a lot of bends, but there's areas where it levels out. That will also create a low pressure zone as well. That's why you see mounds of big boulders in the wider areas. Then when it goes down to the narrow areas, a lot less boulders as it's getting forced straight down. So I might have a little wander up there, but I've already dropped my gear off a little further down there. Saw a little area that looked like it might have a little area that might be worth a little uh, pan or two out of. At the moment I'm just having a little look around though. I'll still be able to get a couple of pans in before the day's out. Then there's going to be a few more days panning to come. So I say this one's just more scoping an area out, seeing where I'll spend the rest of the trip. Whether it's down there where my gear is, or whether it's up there where it's pretty much Boulder Alley. So I'm going to have a little more wandering about, and I'll crack on, choose a spot, and see what we get for the day. So this is the area that I've actually chose to have a little dabble at today. I say I've only got a few hours today, so if it's not very productive, I'll have a further walk upstream tomorrow. You can see this area is a nice low pressure area. You can see further upstream, the river is quite narrow. So the water will be flooding through that when it's actually in flood, like gushing through. Then you can see it actually opens up into a wider span area. And that's where you can see all big boulders starting to mount, uh, mound up at the top. Then you're starting to trail down into all the flood gravels behind. So pretty much most of this would contain probably trace gold. Now to try and find an area that's going to have a good bit. I'm thinking maybe behind that big boulder there. Try and get right in, right deep behind it. There's another boulder down here around this area as well. That's probably going to be a nice low pressure area because it's going up right against the bedrock as well. So that little pool of gravels in there, that might be a good little dabble place as well. So there's a few places. I haven't brought a huge amount of gear with me today. I haven't bought, brought a bucket or anything. It's just going to be a pan classifier. I have brought my sluice, shovel and pump as well. But it's just going to be a case of filling my pans, seeing what they're like. If there's any shows of gold, I'll start sluicing pans worth through the sluice and see what we end up for the day. So I'll get my tools out, get set up, choose an area. I'm going to probably have a go behind this big boulder first. Just shut, rake off a lot of the top stuff then take a few test pans, see if there's going to be anything there. Then we'll see whether there's going to be anything in there or not, or whether it's going to be worth trying a bit further up tomorrow. So I've just done a really, really, really quick test pan. I mean, the quickest test pan I think I've ever done. 
basically the couple of stones out of that behind that big boulder took three scoops and just pan those scoops and there's the first speck of gold of the trip okay it's only a really small micro dot really i don't even know how well the camera will pick it up it's the first time i'm uh, being away using this camera but it just goes to show three scoops behind a boulder and there's the first show of gold and there's plenty more gravels in there to go as well so i'll take a few more test pans hopefully it's going to increase from one but uh, at least it shows straight away first pan of the day first bit, little bit of gold so i'll continue clearing this out and see what it's got to hold so that's the second pan done and uh, second bit of gold in there there's a few more micro micro dots as well bit of increase on the black sand as well so it's a good sign you can see the big bedrock slab that I'm working along the side of that's what this big boulder is basically sat on top of and I've just been working down and you can see it sort of bends down and behind as well so I'm probably going to start throwing all of this through the sluice there's a lot of material in here it's all going to have been built up through low pressure all whipping underneath the actual boulder when the uh, water's flowing past so the only way to find out is to give a really good test sample chuck a few pans worth through the sluice it'll be a bit quicker just working it like that I'll do probably five or six pans give the sluice a clean out and then we'll see what that's going to give from there so it was a good idea to run a test run through the sluice I just found the nicest bit so far as I say I hope the GoPro is making it out but there's that really nice bit there and another smaller but still nicer bit to the left another bit just beneath it another bit to the left of that as well lots of iron stone as well so it shows I'm getting down into the where all the uh, heavy materials being accumulating but as I say that piece right there is really nice I'm really pleased to have found that so early in the trip I say that's the would have been the equivalent of about the fourth or fifth test pan but I just pummeled it all straight through the sluice instead just shovel straight into the sluice I'll record a bit of the next lot I do the hole's getting nice and deep beneath it as well so I'll get all of this snuffed up I'll show what I'm actually doing next time around because there's my little sluice over there as well and hopefully we'll find a few more bits just like that if not more So there we go another little gold show not as nice as the last one but still it's still a little bit more at the show that little bit there and then there's a few more micro dots in the black sand as well so that will all get snuffed up and it'll have a final clean out when at home as well but it's still another show another little bit down there as well so i'm going to pan this a little bit better snuff this all out crack on and so because there's only a few hours left i might continue with this you can see that, that there itself looks as though this is bedrock part of this main slab here and that's going down underneath the hole and you can start to feel a lot of gravels underneath there as well so that itself might be a nice catch area so i'm going to continue working that i might be able to get my gravel pump in there now there's a little bit of water in there I'll start to clear that out a little bit better see if there's going to be any better gold shows if not i might have another little dot around here just for the rest of the day but i think for the rest of the trip i'll probably head a little bit further up so I'll get this cleaned out, snuff it up, continue with this and see if it's got a little bit more to give or not. 
Well, it's always the case when you're making videos, when you record bits, barely any shows up. And this time I just did one pan's worth, sucked up with the gravel pump out of the hole, just while there was some water in it. And two really nice bits there. As I said, just hope the GoPro makes it out. But two really nice bits, and then a few smaller bits just beneath and around it as well. And now as I say, that was just off one pan's worth of material. So I'm going to continue with this hole, try and uh, suck out as much as I can with the gravel pump. If the water doesn't replenish itself, I might just pump water into the hole. That'll help wash down any gold that might be trapped on the actual side of the bedrock wall going down. Then I'll be able to pump it out a little bit easier as well. So first things first, get these snuffed up, fill another pan, see what, uh, see what that one's got to give. So there's another full pan's worth of material. So I'm just going to set the sluice back up, just bang it straight through the sluice, just because it takes seconds to work through the sluice rather than a good few minutes to work down a full pan like that. So I'll say the sluice will take seconds and clean it back out into the pan. And then we'll see what that one's got to give. Uh, just a few small specks on that one, but again, it's only one pan's worth of material And there's only about an hour and a half left before it's going to start getting dark So I'm going to suck out as much as I can with that hole And then the rest of the trip I'll try somewhere new But at least it's been gold on the first day It's always a good sign, always nice to find So I'll crack on, get another couple of pans around through And see what we end up with so I've just ran three pans worth, full pans worth of material through the sluice. Just about to give it a clean out now. It's starting to get a little bit late in the day, that's why I didn't really film much of this one. As I say, it's just a case of trying to get through as much material now before the end of the day. The hole's getting nice and deep, starting to get cleaned out quite well. I'm having to actually fill the hole up with water. I'm using my viewer there, just filling it with water and filling the hole up. Then just so I can actually use the gravel pump to get the material back out. So, let's have a quick look and uh, as I say, this is all the concentrate from the sluice. So time to give it a pan out and see what three pans worth of material has to hold. There we go, that's not a bad result at all for just three pans worth of material. There's the nicest bit of the day. I'll say, I just hope the camera will make it out properly. But I say, that's a really nice piece, a couple of smaller pieces and some flower gold around it as well. So the hole's starting to pay out a little bit. I say, that's just three pans of material, not a bucket or anything. So I'm going to crack on, get this snuffed up. And uh, I say I probably won't film much again, I'll just try and rattle through a few more pans worth through the sluice and I'll pick it back up when it's about time to pan it out and uh, see what we're going to end up with. So two more pans through the sluice and a few more nicer bits to show as well as a shotgun pellet as well. That's the second shotgun pellet I've had out of this hole. So it shows that uh, it, it is collecting the heavies. So still about an hour left of the day. I'm not going to choose anywhere new now. I'm just going to pretty much scrape this hole clean. It's pretty much down to the uh, the dregs now. Get away from the river noise. But yeah, in case, you, in case that wasn't made out, that was just two pans worth through the sluice. I've had another two pans worth. I've uh, snuffed those up. I didn't fill those. But the actual hole itself, I've filled it back with water now. Just trying to get the last little bits out of gra uh, gravel that I can. I've had my hand in there, I've got a full arm length glove. Just to try and make sure that I can't feel any loose gravels along the bottom. And any that I can actually feel, even with the gravel pump, they're pretty much just either not coming up, they're in just such an awkward place. And the only way to get to them now would be to lift this slab. And I'm not lifting that, no chance. If the gold was superb, 
I'd leave it and get a friend down, but no, nah, even two or three people, that's a hefty slab. So I'm pretty much done with it now. I might be able to get one more sluice run with another two, maybe three pans if I'm lucky. So bucket wise, it's probably only been maybe two buckets worth of material so far. So it's not too bad for just two buckets worth. So I say I'll try and crack on, try and run a few more pans through the sluice. I'll bring a bucket with me tomorrow. So I should be able to work a lot more material. As I say, I'm just not gonna work this spot maybe somewhere around it or as i say further upstream but i've still got the rest of the day to finish off so i'll try and get a few more pans through the sluice so i've just put the last pans worth through the sluice for the day just about went it out into the pan give it a clean out and then see what we got there's a few nice colors to finish off the day with i say that was just one pans worth as well and there's a few nice colors in there so I just filled the full pan, ran it through the sluice just to save having to pan it down by hand with a full pan's worth. It only takes seconds to run it through the sluice. Then not long at all just to actually pan off the concentrates from the sluice. So that's not a bad re uh, finish really. The hole is pretty much tapped out. I've tried to get as much out of it as possible. It goes right back, as you can see. And if I get the uh, pump, so it goes down and back but this bedrock shelf going down does bottom off on this side it slopes down on there but then it pops back up in a ridge that's the good thing about actually wearing full length gloves you can get in and actually find out what's going on in areas that you can't actually see but even just feeling around on the bottom I'm not able to feel a lot of gravels at all now I've been taken out everywhere where I could and as I say, it's pretty much down to the very, very dregs now. Not much left in there at all, especially considering what it was like when it was started. And it's only been worked just by filling pan at a time, pan at a time, rather than uh, a full bucket. So that doesn't mean a bad first day for the trip. I'll get this snuffered up, get the snuffer bottle out, empty it out, give it a clean out, show you what I've got just for the day. Then there's going to be a few more videos of this trip to come as well so as I say I'll get all this tidied up get all packed up throw a couple of stones into that hole just to fill it in as you do and let's see what we've got for the day